Hey guys, it's just me again. Uh, I'm st thinking about starting to do videos once a week of Minecraft and a couple other video games, but we'll talk about that later. But let's get into it. Minecraft. Uh, this collection, this or this yeah collection of mods is surrounded around Buildcraft. You're probably thinking, woohoo, Buildcraft, no big deal. But I'm a big fan of Buildcraft. Uh, Buildcraft and stuff. Uh, I don't have uh, ICT to the fact. I'm not too fond of where uh, pl uh, I can't remember the developer, head developer of uh, IC2, but he's at, they've started to integrate uh, uh, Greg Tech. I'm not too fussy about Greg Tech. So I got more mods around uh, Buildcraft and Buildcraft similar power. Because uh, there's another power form similar to Buildcraft that's RF, basically it converts straight into Buildcraft or Buildcraft MJ quick easily enough. Uh, got a uh, bibliocraft in here. I uh, got another mod called Biomet or uh, Buildcraft Tools, and with uh, clicking on having the bonus chest spawned in. Uh, it will probably have some uh, chest armor in there that I'm just going to get rid of. In fact, it's a little OP at this this point in time in the game. It's better off in the uh, later po mid to later point of the game, but not starting right now. Let's see. Let's do some random numbers. That looks cool. Let's do some random numbers like that. But uh, yeah, this collection of mods is surrounded. Primary around Buildcraft MJ system or Buildcraft power, um, so we got Railcraft that has the boilers that give you the Buildcraft power. Then you have the uh, Red uh, Mine Factory loader that has the RF power, but similar to Buildcraft, like I said. Yeah, so. Here you go. This is what I was talking about. These are the uh, armor that it's more of a cheating thing, or a little OP personally. Okay, I don't have recipe mode turned on, so I'll leave. Whoops, I'll leave all those here. But this is also used by uh, Buildcraft tools. And all that is is like I think yeah, basically very simple. So we'll grab that. It's basically useless until I get the kinetic generator that Buildcraft Tools adds. So, but now let's get ourselves going. Grab our axe. Start. Let's start cutting down some trees. So we got some wood to start off with wood and then some other then we'll get some other materials get this last piece of wood I hate when I'm on a server I see uh, per person only cut down a couple of logs here so basically they take that last block out and they just leave this top half the tree up I hate that we'll get rid of this oh. Darn, these trees are big. We got some bushes. I think these are added by Matura. I might be wrong, or it might be, uh, oh crap, Buildcraft. Oh crap. Oh great. Let's dig ourselves out of here. <laughs> dig ourselves out of here. There we go. And you're seen some giant flowers. That is added by Biomes of Planet also. Oh, a little bit of rendering or spawning leg or whatever. Rendering the map. Uh, this is a flower biome I think it is. Or a garden biome. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You got uh, short grass uh, and all different things here. Cool little biome. Why do I hear a bat? Oh, I hear a chicken off in the distance, probably. But let's get ourselves a little farther out. 
Okay, we got do got a little bit of bread. Do I need to find a couple of sheep first? Oh, here's some chickens. Basically the same thing. Or roosters, I should say, but they're the same thing as a chicken. But they, instead of dropping feathers, I do believe, yeah, they drop uh, red dye. Their uh, bibliocraft adds them, I do believe, with, uh, so. Oh, I see the first buildcraft item in the background there. That giant uh, oil tower there. I am using uh, Optifine in this. So, just to help my FPS and stuff like that when I'm recording. Uh, oh, shit. oh shoot, some squids. But probably don't want to find a little place to hunker down to start off with and then later on uh, probably move into something a little better, a little bit better area. I think this area is pretty good. A lot of trees, quite a few animals. Get hey, get back here, cow. But get off to this island here and get some wood. Make a little. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a good area because you got the hills back there that will have uh, above ground coal exposed, like this. So let's make ourselves a crafting table real quickly here. So then we can get the coal. I need some sticks too. Up down here. There we go. Now, shoot. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to make like all the tools from wood to the fact I'm standing right on cobblestone, so cobblestone tools right off the hop is always a little bit better than I'm not wasting the uh, wood. It's like, actually, I shouldn't say wasting, I'm surrounded by a forest, so. Not really wasting. I just cut down a tree, and I got more logs. <laughs> but grab the coal for torches. So I will start using uh, uh, charcoal. Probably I use charcoal off the hop, and then conserve any of the coal for higher, or more, uh, bigger things to use. Grab some. Uh, Cobblestone, so it makes some tools. There's a pickaxe. There is an axe. There's a shovel. Four, five, six, seventh. There's a furnace. Uh, oh, yeah, we should grab two more. Okay. Need you. Now grab one more cobblestone for a sword. Grab eh, grab a little bit more for a backup pick. Since this one's almost toast. I want to get up near the uh, mountain here. The videos are going to probably be an average length of 10 to 15 minutes. This one's probably going to be a little longer than the fact it's the first one. So I'm not, I'm going to try to aim for that. There might be some, uh, actually probably not. I was thinking of something else, but never mind. This area is actually kind of nice. Build a little house here. Got some coal, some other materials. Uh, copper ore. Build a little shack here. Level up this area. Close to the water so you can have a uh, garden there. Actually, maybe not. Where's my health? Ooh, 
Holy dynamite, that's cool. Oh, loot. Actually, go over that way. Picking up some seeds. Yeah, so you get more items from Bibliocraft. Actually, this area is pretty. Is this a ravine? No, might have been. Might be just a small one. Oh, hey, sheep. We can use these. If I had iron, I'd just shear them, but since I don't got iron, I can't. Sorry, sheep. I don't mean to. Don't, don't want to kill you. There goes my pickaxe. So. Hey, an Enderman. What is he doing out? If we had better tools, I'd attack him. Got these reeds. Ooh. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's a good area of mine down there. I'm thinking putting the house somewhere around here. What? A carrot? Okay. I didn't know you could get carrots in the wild. Must be nature or but bibliocraft in or uh biomes of plenty doing that. But I think our house our first house is gonna be here. So let's put some materials down. Put our crafting table down. Let's grab Hop on. Actually, probably won't be my best idea. So I'm gonna hop in up onto the top of this tree. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got got enough wood, but uh, just so then I can start building the house. Actually, actually, I'll just make some tools real quick here. Couple stone pickaxe, first one or axe. So while we're in here, we should make ourselves a bed. So when it becomes night, like it is, then we got somewhere to sleep and save our spot. So while we wait for night, we'll just hop back into the tree, cut it down. Should be coming. Yeah, it's pretty much night now. So I sh should be able to use the uh, bed. Wow. Don't know why I'm lagging like that. There we go. So, but I think this is a pretty good area to uh, uh, stop the video. We got an our area to, that we're going to start building on. Got some animals so we can start a farm. Uh, and yeah, I think this is a pretty good area for us to start. So tune in next week, uh, next week for another video.